I'm going to review my love bracelet small with diamonds with you and I'll share wear, tear, pros and cons, sizing, price, everything that you need to know about this bracelet and I will tell you in the end if I still think this bracelet is worth it. Everything will be linked down below in the description box for you and leave me a comment down below to let me know if you have any additional questions. Let's get right into the video. This is my love bracelet small in rose gold with 6 diamonds which totaling about 0.15 carats. The purchase comes with a screwdriver in the box. The bracelet has a combo of these signature love symbols and diamonds. The bracelet is in the oval shape to make sure it fits your wrist the better. Generally speaking, the Cartier purchase come with a Cartier shopping bag, a receipt, and a travel pouch where you can store your bracelet while you are traveling with it, a small travel pouch for your screwdriver as well, a cleaning kit where you have a cleaning cloth, a brush, and a cleaning solution. It should also come with a love bracelet certificate where it has your serial number, stamp, date of purchase and the signature of your sales associate. The purchase comes with the box here and another red box where you can place this jewelry box inside. This red box is usually wrapped in a white paper and sealed with the Cartier stamp like the signature packaging. If your essay is nice enough, they might give you some small gifts on the site like red envelope for Chinese New Year depending on the time of purchase or a Cartier champagne for celebration etc. The locking mechanism of my love bracelet small has a single functional screw on one side of the bracelet, a hinge on the other side. It's really easy to put it on and take it off. To put it on, all you need to do is just open up the oval shaped bracelet from the screw side and put it on your wrist. Then you use the screwdriver to turn this particular screw 90 degree to make sure the screw is in the same direction as rest of the screw clockwise or counterclockwise doesn't matter whichever way you prefer is all fine now you can see the screw is in the same direction as the rest of the screw that means your bracelet is locked if you want to take it off you can take a look at the hinge side and the screw side so that you know which screw it is first all you need to do is just to turn this particular screw 90 degree and you can see the screw is different from the rest of the screw then you can open up the bracelet to take it off I have a really thin wrist. My love small is in a size 16 and I could totally wear size 15 as well when I tried it on in the boutique. Since I already have a dedicated video to talk about the love bracelet sizing, I won't go into the details here. If you want to know my wrist size and how to measure and why I picked the size 16 over 15, I'll link my dedicated Cartier sizing video down below for you to check it out after this video. So I have this bracelet for about 10 10 months and sometimes I wear it more sometimes I wear it less but at least I wear it a couple of times every week and sometimes I stack it sometimes I wear this bracelet alone but I do stack more often than wearing this bracelet alone I never sleep with this bracelet and I either put it on in the morning or put it on before I leave home and I take it off by end of the night I did wear it with all these other activity except the sleep Sleeping and I got it wet before too. It's totally fine. This is a close up of my bracelet. I clean it myself once in a while with the Cartier cleaning cloth come with my purchase. You can see the small scratches on the surface of the bracelet inside as well. This is totally normal especially I wear it together with other jewelry pieces as well. There are some scratches on the side of the bracelet. Considering stacking it, I really don't think it's bad. Even the scratches gets worse over time, I don't mind. So my love bracelet small in rose gold with 6 diamonds is retail for $6,600 and after tax the total is $7,169.25. The plain love bracelet small in rose gold with no diamonds is $4,450. So I basically paid $2,150 for these small 6 diamonds. Diamonds versus no diamonds and there are a couple of reasons made me 
purchased the diamond ones. Although the diamonds are small, Cartier use really high quality diamonds that I can see the sparkle of diamonds when I wear the bracelet. So Cartier only use diamonds between D and H, meaning they're all colorless. Only use diamonds with little or no fluorescent. Cartier's diamonds are only selected between IF, which is internally flawless and VS2, which guarantees exceptional clarity and the absence of the slightest inclusion visible to the naked eye. The other reason I considered the diamonds version was because I was thinking if the scratches get worse over time, I get way more scratches and if the bracelet looks really dull, then it at least still have some diamonds it will sparkle. If your budget allows, definitely spend a little over $2,000 for the six diamonds to add some sparkle. And if not, the regular plain version is a forever classic piece as well. The reason I didn't get the 10 diamonds version is because it covered all the love symbols. That love symbol is what makes a love bracelet love bracelet in my opinion. So personally, I prefer the six diamonds more. Of course, if there's no budget or your budget is higher, then go with the paved diamond. It's even more beautiful and it has the best of everything. Talking about the pros, I definitely think this is a forever classic piece that you can never go wrong with. And also sometimes, you know, love bracelet has some meanings like I got it from hubby as this year's birthday gift. So it feels really special to me and it's hubby's love and symbol of love toward me and it also reminded me to love myself more since life is so short. On top of that, it is a really dainty and stunning bracelet if dainty look is what you are going for. The other thing I really love about it is it's so easy to put it on and take it off and you never need to ask other people to help you to put it on or take it off. The other pro that I want to say is that it's actually a really lightweight piece and it's really comfortable to wear. You don't have to wear like a hundred pound heavy bracelet on your wrist if you like things are a little bit lightweight. It's just really, really comfortable when you wear it. The other pro is that it's such a stunning piece to stack with other pieces together. And it's also another great piece to pass down to your future generations. The cons that I want to say is that if, like I mentioned, the bracelet is a little bit lightweight and if you are not going for the dainty look and you like things more substantial and more stamen, then I definitely think the regular love bracelet is a better option than this one because it is definitely has the dainty style. The other con is not a big problem, but I still wanted to mention to you, I do notice that this bracelet bracelet leaves indentation marks on my skin sometimes from the screw inside. It's not painful or anything. I also don't mind it, but I thought you might want to know this. I actually got this love bracelet small as a birthday gift from hubby at the beginning of 2022. After wearing my love bracelet small with diamonds for the past 10 months, I honestly really enjoy this bracelet and every single time when I wear it and look at it, it reminds me so much love and why I have it and it reminded me to love myself and it brings so much joy to me instantly. In my opinion, the love bracelet is definitely worth it and I can totally see myself wearing it more decades to come and pass down to my future generations. If I were giving another chance, I will buy this piece with diamonds again. Let me know what do you think or if you have any additional questions and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!